And how are you? Oh yeah, you're good. Okay. So, um, the real reason why Dwight Howard got traded from the Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta Hawks. All right. So, first things first. Thank you, Dwight, uh, for everything you've done for the franchise. Thank you for, uh, you know, all the rebounds you put in, all the work. I mean, you really averaged about 13 and 13, you know, and that's, that's the rebounding we needed. That's, we didn't have, even with the 60-win team, a person who uh, averaged double figures in rebounding. So we could have needed Dwight, you know, maybe about two years ago. We still kind of needed him now, but the problem is, we have uh, really young guys like uh, Dennis Schroeder. Now, Teague and, and uh, Howard would have probably had a field day. The pick and roll actions, all kinds of things. But I'm going to have to, you know, sort of blame Dennis Schroeder's immaturity, first thing. You know, they had several fights, and a lot of that, you know, you could blame Dwight. But at the same time, Dennis still had a lot of growing up, still has a lot of growing up to do. And uh, in terms of uh, maturity, I think if Jeff Teague were here, you know, they probably would have had a 50 win season. You know, 50 wins. And 32 losses. But maybe they wouldn't have lost that much. But, uh, yeah. I mean, Dwight, you really helped out this season. But the main reason why he was traded was to save face. Yes. Dwight Howard asked to be traded. He wanted to be traded. And so, he was traded. I mean, think about it. Dwight was first in Orlando. He was loved for lots of years. He was an all-star. Then, he asked to be traded to the Lakers. And, uh, people in Orlando hated him for it. In fact, a lot of people everywhere sort of hated him for it. But then he kind of sort of had trouble playing with Kobe. You know, the way Kobe plays is very a me, me, me style. So there's that. And then went to Houston Rockets, signed there with uh, James Harden. So you know how it's all going, dude. You know, selfish play has kind of hindered his career. A guy named Hido Turkulu was like, he was Dwight's like brother. Like I saw plays with Hido Turkulu. Like if people just play like Hido Turkulu with Dwight Howard, you know, he keep on going to the finals, right? Like he did in 09. And I think a guy named Kemba Walker. Is, is really good in that department. He doesn't really have what's called an ego. You know, a lot of these other dudes, it was a combination of ego and selfishness. And, you know, you don't normally say that, but I, I've, I've seen, you know, Shorter kind of take these traits, you know, passing it to whoever he wants to pass it to. Sometimes he passes Paul Millsap because they were close, you know. Tamar Way Jr. had to catch a couple lobs in his vicinity. You know, that's that's basically how he get the ball. But if everything went right in Dwight's career, he'd have won at least one ring. Maybe that year in 2011, if things went right. But with the Hornets, I really like them. Uh, yeah, they got uh, Malik Monk, the number 11 pick in the draft. Uh, He's a pretty talented scorer. I've watched some of his games. Sharpshooter. Uh, he's pretty good in the paint. So I think combined that he'll be at the, the probably at shooting guard and with uh, the small forward at Nicholas Batum. Sharpshooter. So I mean, they're going to be a loaded team next year. It's actually almost like Orlando. I mean, I actually would trust Kemba more with the team in terms of the scoring of course but I think the number two guy is going to be Malik Monk or so you know but Howard is definitely gonna get a lot of rebounds like he did here in Atlanta and it's the rebounding that they need 
But again, Dwight Howard asked to be traded from the Hawks. And it was after, you know, sitting all those minutes in the playoffs. You know, we didn't have to sit him like that. We could have played him. We could have played him. He's gotten better free throws. Uh, I think over 60%. At least in the playoffs, it was over 60%. But it was the best he shot free throws in the playoffs in his career. And he's made it to the finals before. So I, I think he would have performed great in crunch time. We needed the re defensive, re offensive rebounding, defensive rebounding. We needed all of that. But, um, yeah, I regret that. But at the same time, you're like, well, you don't want to take that chance all the time with him. And I understand that. But Dwight is a talented all-star guy. He still has it, you know. I don't care what people say. So I might have been seen laughing in the video, but I was in shock. I, I was showing emotion. Then. So, I mean, it, it's, it's not a terrible trade because... Look who we got for Dwight Howard. Marco Bellinelli. I mean, Marco Bellinelli is an NBA champion. He's a three-point shootout champion and 2014 All-Star uh, shootout champion. The All-Star weekend. He's not an All-Star, you know. But, you know, he's one of the best Italian players to ever play the game, is what people say of him. And I've seen a lot of his plays, a lot of his fadeaway jumpers, I mean. it's It kind of reminds me of Kobe. I mean, Kobe played in Italy for a while. So, I mean, I see some of his plays and I'm like, wow. Like, I can't believe he made that shot. So, Marco Bellinelli, he's averaged over 10 points for the Hornets. So, he was scoring that they needed as well, the Hornets. But the fact that they were able to get a steal in that 11th pick, like, I thought that guy, Malik Monk, was, like, supposed to go 8th or whatever. He's supposed to go like six, maybe even fifth. But you know, you know, he, he's probably the most NBA ready player in that draft. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, Hawks got John Collins. You know, he's a power forward. But you look at all the the power forwards we have now. We only have one officially signed. That's John Collins. So if we're able to re-sign Millsap, that'd be great. And then John Collins played behind him. You know, we need more power forwards to sign. You know, if we never re-sign Millsap. It's, uh, it would be tragic if you resign him. Resign him? Uh, all right. Um, yeah, the draft came and went. Uh, by the way, uh, another person who got traded, I forgot about him, was, um, D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, sorry. Got traded for Brooke Lopez. Well, they also got traded with uh, Timofey Mozgov and uh, for uh, Brook Lopez and the number 27 pick in the NBA draft. So a lot of things happened, I, I, I suppose. So the Nets would get him. And, yeah, I mean, just to make really room for Lonzo, you know, he plays the point guard. Lonzo's gonna be in Nets, you know, with the Nets. He'll probably play shooting guard anyway because Jay Lynn is there. And, uh, hey, Jeremy Lin is a really talented player. Really talented. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'll see everyone later. Peace.